Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today, we'll be discussing about the National Green Hydrogen Mission. Now, the Union Cabinet has approved National Green Hydrogen Mission to make India a global hub for the production of green hydrogen. About hydrogen, it is the chemical element with the symbol H and atomic number 1. Hydrogen is the lightest element and the most abundant chemical substance in the universe, constituting roughly 75% of all normal matter. At standard conditions, hydrogen is a gas of diatomic molecules having the formula H2. It is colorless, odorless, tasteless, non-toxic and highly combustible element. Hydrogen exists in combination with other elements. Hence, for using it as a source of energy, it has to be extracted from naturally occurring compounds like water, which is combination of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The sources and processes by which hydrogen is derived are categorized by different colors. First, grey hydrogen. It is produced from the fossil fuels such as coal. It constitutes the bulk of the hydrogen generated today. Next is blue hydrogen. It is generated from fossil fuels but with technologies of carbon capture and storage options so as to prevent the carbon released in the process from entering the atmosphere. And next is green hydrogen, which is generated by splitting water through a process called electrolysis using the device called electrolyzer that is powered entirely by renewable energy such as solar, wind and hydel power. Coming to the benefits of green hydrogen, green hydrogen is a clean burning element that can decarbonize a range of sectors including iron and steel, chemicals and transportation. Hydrogen can be stored for long periods of time, which can be used to produce electricity using fuel cells. Now, there are certain challenges of green hydrogen. The current process of extracting it is energy intensive. Green hydrogen is not commercially viable at present. The current cost in India is around Rs 350 to 400 per kg. It is likely to become viable only at a production cost of under Rs 100 per kg and this is what the recently launched mission aims for. Now let's understand the key facts of the National Green Hydrogen Mission. First, about its funding, the initial outlay for the mission will be Rs 19,744 crore, which will include an outlay of Rs 17,490 crore for the Strategic Intervention for Green Hydrogen Transition Programme, that is SIGHT site programme. Next, Nodal Ministry, Ministry of New and Renewable Energy will be responsible for overall coordination and implementation of the mission. In view of the strategy of the National Green Hydrogen Mission, under the Strategic Interventions for Green Hydrogen Transition Program, two distinct financial incentive mechanisms, that is targeting domestic manufacturing of electrolyzers and production of green hydrogen, will be provided under this mission. Further, a public-private partnership framework for R&D, Strategic Hydrogen Innovation Partnership, SHIP, will be facilitated under this mission. R&D projects will be goal-oriented, time-bound and suitably scaled up to develop globally competitive technologies. Regions capable of supporting large-scale production and or utilization of hydrogen will be identified and developed as green hydrogen hubs. Next, a robust standards and regulations framework will also be developed. Furthermore, a coordinated skill development program will also be undertaken under this mission. Let's understand the targets and expected benefits from National Green Hydrogen Mission. This mission will result in the following likely outcomes by 2030. First, it will lead to development of green hydrogen production capacity of at least 5 MMT that is million metric ton per annum with an associated renewable energy capacity addition of about 125 gigawatt in the country. Next, nearly 50 mmt per annum of carbon dioxide CO2 emissions are expected to be averted. Cumulative reduction in fossil fuel imports over rupees 1 lakh crore are expected. These targets, if met by 2030, are likely to bring in over rupees 8 lakh crore investments and create over 6 lakh jobs. 
Other initiatives in India for green hydrogen are In April 2022, India's first 99.99% pure green hydrogen pilot plant was set up in eastern Assam's Dulyajan. Indian Oil Corporation Limited's R&D center in collaboration with Tata Motor Limited had earlier carried out trials of hydrogen fuel cell buses and lastly Adani Enterprises announced in June that it will collaborate with France's Total Energies to jointly create the world's largest green hydrogen ecosystem now that was little bit about the national green hydrogen mission let's take a practice question from the topic consider the following statements Statement 1 Green hydrogen is generated through a process called electrolysis using a device called electrolyzer that is powered entirely by renewable energy. Statement 2 Grey hydrogen is generated from fossil fuels along with use of carbon capture technologies and storage options. Now which of the statements given above is or are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now the correct answer is A that is only statement 1 is correct statement 2 is incorrect as it is the blue hydrogen and not the grey hydrogen that is generated from fossil fuels along with use of carbon capture technologies and storage options I hope you liked the video and found the information useful you may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos stay tuned to the next IS YouTube channel